Hey everyone, so I just wanted to give off some information on the Half Moon King Beta. You can get these guys from Petco. Uh, Petco near me has them for $20. So I believe it's the same price or just a little bit more than your standard King Beta is. Uh, so these, this is just going to be some information using pretty simple words here. Uh, from my own observations on the Half Moon King Beta. Uh, there's, I tried Googling them and there's very few forums on these guys and there's very, very small amount of information on them. Petco's own website has information on them, but it's a very general information on betas in general. And I wouldn't even recommend what they say on their website for any beta, uh, let alone a bigger beta such as the King. Here. So this is from my own observations, so keep that in mind here. Uh, so again, they are $20 from Petco, at least near me, that's what they are. Uh, so a King Beta is essentially just a bigger placat Beta, which is a stout Beta with short fins. Uh, so they're just a bigger version of a placat or placket or however you want to say that word. A Half Moon pretty much just means it's a Beta that has uh, larger flowing fins than the standard Beta. So in this case, you take the placat, which is a short fin beta, and you add in, or enlarge, so to speak, their fins and make them a little bit more flowy, uh, as you can see I'm, I'm my guy here. And that's what you get for a half moon. Uh, so together you get a big placat beta with flowing fins, larger flowing fins than your standard placat beta. Hopefully that makes some sense there. Uh, so now for some actual care information on them, essentially their care is going to be the same as any other beta. One one major thing that I would like to change uh, and would like to say here is because they are so much bigger than your standard beta, I would highly recommend getting at least a 5 gallon tank or bigger for them uh, because due to their bigger size. Uh, standard beta tank size is usually about two and a half gallons or bigger. But again, I'd go up to at least a five gallon tank or bigger for them because of, due to their size. Uh, so yeah, so the commonly accepted size for a normal beta is two and a half gallons. Uh, then everything else is pretty much the same. So you can feed them the same amount of, or the same types of food. Uh, you just might want to feed them a little bit more than what you would feed a standard beta due again to their size. Uh, they should have somewhere to hide and somewhere to rest in their tank, something to rest on in their tank. Like him, he rests up here quite a bit on these uh, on this live plants up top here or even in the in the uh, plants in the middle there, to the right there. Uh, of course, you will want a filter and a heater for them because they are still beta, so you know, filter, will, filter will help keep their tank clean and a heater will keep them nice and warm. Uh, they should be somewhere somewhere around 75 to 80 degrees in their tank. And yes, you will see here, I do not actually have a heater right now in this tank. That's because my room is always 80 degrees right now, being summertime. Uh, but once it comes winter time or fall, I will be putting a heater in here. Uh, so before somebody's count on that, that is why. Yes, I mean, again, their care is going to be the same as any other beta. For the most part, I just need to enlarge everything, uh, give them a little bit more food, uh, or you can even feed them a little bit bigger pellets if you want to, um, or just feed them a little bit more, uh, enlarge their tank size compared to a normal beta, and of course have everything else pretty much the same, heater, filter, all that good stuff, uh, places for them to hide, things like that. Uh, now on mine, he has been very active since I got him, he was active in the tiny little crappy cup they keep them in uh, and he was almost as big as the cup it was from Petco. Uh, as soon as I put him in this tank he's been swimming all around. He's active as can be. Um, I personally do believe that the shorter fin variety of betas are more active than longer fin varieties. That's not true for every single one of course but in general it seems like the shorter fin betas. He still is a short fin beta compared to say a normal half moon beta. Uh, that's not a king. Uh, so, so he's very active. Mine does not stop moving. He actually really likes to have filter in there. Before this filter, I had, I had a stronger filter and he was all the time in the current and I was just afraid it was going to hurt him. Uh, but he loves the current of the filter for some reason.
he spent, he spent he seems to spend more time on the filtered side than he does on the non filtered side for whatever reason. He just has fun with it, I guess. Yeah, so those are my general observations on a Half Moon King beta. Again, it's very hard to find information on these guys, it seems like. And not even Peko's own website really has information geared towards the this specific type of beta. So hopefully this is somewhat helpful. Uh, well, I hope you guys have yourselves a good one. We'll see you all guys next time. Goodbye.